All right, I'm going to tell you about decanting fountain pen ink and why a person would decant. What that mean? What decant means is to take the fountain pen ink and remove it from this container and maybe put it in another container. For this exercise and example, and we'll put it right back in this bottle. But if you, some people put it in an ink well or a something like this. So as we get started here, I'm putting out some supplies that uh, are used for this. And so the idea, it's not very difficult really, especially if you, what I, you've got what I call a decanting bowl. Uh, if you want some of these, give me a, just give me a private message uh, I prefer a private message, just friend me and private message me. Or put it in the comments and somehow I can get a hold of you, get in touch with you, and I will tell you how to get such a thing as this. I also have a rag here. And i uh, got my trusty poster board underneath. So, like I say, some people decant ink to put in an inkwell. Some people decant ink to put in different bottles, like maybe, for example, this one, if you can see, it's probably a third, one third full. What that means to me, when I put my fountain pen in this ink, it may not cover the nib enough to get, to suck the ink cup in the pen well. So I might want to put it in a different container or a bowl to uh, fill my pen. So really the diameter would have to be smaller around to make the level rise if you think about that um, so there's a lot to think about but in you know this i say this interesting hobby of fountain pens so it's, it's a hobby but it's also something i use every day and i really enjoy i literally get two times when i'm like i haven't written with a fountain pen in two or three days and i really miss it so Today is one of those days, and uh, I've been doing a lot of writing. Found some journal prompts over at Modern Health Monk on YouTube. I think it's called Five Journal Prompts or Four Journal Prompts. When you feel like you're not, you don't know where you're going or need direction or something to that effect, go to Modern Health Monk, look for Five Journal Prompts. Uh, or five questions to help you find out where you need to go. Basically, because I've got so many things going on, that's what why it caught my interest is I need to get focused on a few of these and quit giving myself anxiety over it, you know? Some of you may not understand. If you're a business person and you love what you do like I am, you do more than uh, maybe what you should. And So yeah, I've got those journal prompts. I haven't done the journal entry, but I did take notes and wrote down all the prompts. So, uh, please try that out. Modern Health Monk on YouTube. It's all one word. Modern Health Monk. Literally capitalizes each word, which I do as well. It's a good idea. Alright, well, so we're looking at how to uh, decant fountain pen ink and why to decant fountain, me fountain pen ink. Uh... You know, like I say, you could even buy multiple bottles and put them in a bigger bottle. For example, you might find that somewhere is selling samples and the samples are a dollar per sample. And maybe if you bought like five samples, you would have as much as a regular bottle. And you'd have five dollars in the ink for buying the samples. But you'll have twelve dollars in the ink for buying that bottled up in this bottle so if you save your bottles like I do you can uh, decant and put it in another ink bottle so yeah save your ink bottles save money you know recycle uh, by using fountain pens and only using ink so let's get started with decanting or uh, you know what should I say Decanting is a good word, but it basically means changing 
ink from one place to another, taking you out of the canister that it's in, or the container it's in. So in this exercise, I'm going to show you two things. One is you can take it out one at a time. I could suck it out of here, put it in here. This is a like a bulb syringe, and it has the milliliter marks on it. You can get these from me. If you would uh, send me a message, I'll tell you how to get them. Same with all these things. Just send me a message. I'll tell you how to get them. I'll get you real, the best prices on them. And this is a bulb syringe. You suck out the ink, put it in there. Now that, you can't always tell if it's clean inside. So you might not want to use that for that since it is a cleaning instrument for everyday pen use. These clean up easily, both of these. This, you can take the rubber cap off. You can take the plunger out of this. So you can suck it out, put it in, suck it out, put it in. Matter of fact, why not just go ahead and do it. So here we go. And I've got four mil. Let's just go. I got 10 milliliters of ink, right? There you go. And I just don't do it too fast. You don't want to splash your ink all over the place. And you also want to have a rag nearby. And that's one way, but in this case, you can also just, in having one of these nice little bubbles like I have, I got a beautiful finish, a beautiful shape to them. I love glassware. And plastic wear. These are plastic. I have glass and plastic. I have anchor hawking glass bowls about the same size. There's actually a name for them and anchor hawking glass tells what it's for. But I don't remember what there there's an actual use but it's like a dipping cup. It's like uh, three times the size of uh, it's about I would guess it's about three times the size of Things you get at rest or at fast food restaurants like barbecue sauce or honey mustard. If you've seen those little square containers, these bowls are about three times the volume of those. So now I've dumped out all my ink. You can kind of see the color. I want to. I'll get you. A, I'll do some kind of review or writing sample with this ink to show you how beautiful it is. It's my favorite. And a matter of fact. I just checked on Amazon and eBay and one of them I told you it was hard to find uh, one of them didn't have it at all I think it was Amazon surprise surprise and eBay only had like five listings I can't believe it so don't go buying it all up if you buy some send me a message because we may have to trade or I may have to buy some from you okay and so, yeah, let's let's stay together, you know. Uh, we can always trade inks and pens and all that stuff. So, stay engaged on the comments. Stay connected with me, and uh, I with you. And we will we'll build a little community of keeping us all in the pens and inks we want. Because I have connections on uh, like diamine inks, uh, the golden. I've got a bottle of it right here, Golden Sands. It's a, it's a bottle that's empty. It's been cleaned. It's off camera, but uh, I bought my last Golden Sands. I bought five bottles, I think, from England, from a pen store in England. So that's just to let you know that I can help. We can work together to get what we want and need and save some money, probably. So here we go. So all I'm going to do is go into that bowl and I'm going to suck it back out of there. It's probably about 20 milliliters in here. I don't know. I'm not so good with milliliters. Because I'm on imperial units, I think it's called here in the United States. And you're going to get some air bubbles. And this is not always easy. But, no, there's not. There's about 15 milliliters. Look at the color in the bottom of that bowl. You can really see the color of this ink. It's the most beautiful, but kind of muted purple blue. I'm gonna hold it up for you so you can see what I did. Look at that. Wow. I love this color. I don't have a more favorite blue color. I can assure you of that. I'm a big fan of purple, 
I'm not a, really a big fan of blue, but look at this. I don't, let's see. That's kind of near the light. You can probably see that glass. I don't know if you ever saw that cobalt glass, I think it's called. It's this blue like that. It's a, almost the same color. So I just decanted that and <laughs> I don't know. I guess recant's a word, but it's usually used in a different context. It usually means to take back something you said, I think. But uh, uh, unbottled it and rebottled it to demonstrate how to decant Fountain Pen Ink and why to decant Fountain Pen Ink. I'm sure I haven't covered everything, so I'd love for you to comment and tell me what I need to share more because I can always do another video. And uh, that's what I'll do. Thank you for watching. Follow me on here and wherever else you can find me. I always use the same username across channels, so I usually try to pick something that's available everywhere. And it's been a pleasure to be with you and show you something new in fountain pens. If you got some ideas for videos, please share that with me. That's a, that's a great thing. Please do share ideas for videos. If you want to send me something and let me feature it on a video and let me return it to you, uh, we can make arrangements for that. And, uh, you know, if we need to insure it or something or have a middle, middle man of some type, to ensure you get your stuff back we can do that as well like some kind of not notarized document but you know if you have a pen store you could go in there and just have them witness a document saying you sent me a hundred dollar pen that way you have a third party and you know where the pen is so you it's not just my word against yours so if you want to send something and have it featured in a video or you just want to uh, reach out to brands and and plug my channel that'd be great hey i appreciate you being here i don't want to take up too much of your valuable time i appreciate your time as always and i look forward to being with you again soon have a blessed day god bless you and yours bye for now